Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Fresh. My name is Nia Malika Dixon. I'm an independent writer, director, and producer here in Los Angeles. I'm originally from Baltimore, and I am a Black Muslim woman. And I founded Audas Entertainment as a way for us to connect um, creators who are, hey, welcome, who are traditionally uh, marginalized and um, provide a platform for us to create our own authentic narrative. And welcome to another uh, weekly episode of our live broadcast, Fresh, where we talk about all things story. And this is our second wave of Fresh Story Lab. Our first wave included film, I'm sorry, television series from your favorite streaming platforms. And this wave includes film. And I just finished up um, in Mexico last week talking about Really Love, which is on Netflix. And um, this week we're switching gears and moving into, moving away from love stories and into action films, which is my favorite genre. And so I'm so excited to talk about The Old Guard, which is another film written, well, directed by a black woman. So if you haven't seen The Old Guard, it is streaming on Netflix and it was directed by Gina Prince Bythewood. And um, I'm just really excited because like I said, Action films are my favorite genre. I also love thrillers, but I just want to jump right into why this particular action film, I believe, is top tier action. And um, I'm a big fan of all action films. And honestly, I've seen some action films that have left me um, pretty much disappointed, but this was definitely not one of them. So uh, first of all, it has a compelling story and it is led by a woman, actually two women. Um, and a shout out to the strong black lead, Kiki Lane. Oh my God, she was really great. And the fact that this series um, is a comic series that was adapted into a film is um, a really big booster to its story because it has a built-in story that is very layered, very nuanced, that a lot of action films don't have the benefit of. So um, let me just start off by saying that number one, it has deep characters who are fully developed and have a very strong drive, a very clear need. Cle clearly we know what our leads want. Andy, who is um, played by Charlize Theron and um, Niall, who's played by Kiki Lane, definitely are on a clear path um in some ways they're kind of butting heads but they have similar goals which is um to be the hero and andy has this built-in heroic backstory because she's an immortal and if you don't know the um, the original uh, story for the old guard it is based on a graphic novel or comic book if you prefer um and it is very much deep um, in some mythology with um, Andy being Andromache. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> um, and she is a mythological quote unquote goddess. And so the, um, the Old Guard graphic novel kind of has a lot of that mythology already built into it, but um, I'm getting ahead of myself. So the way that Gina Prince Bythewood really took this story and made it her own, I think, is because she is very good at um, making sure that the characters come through in the film. And if you've ever watched this series before, you know that I'm a firm believer that story is character. And the story evolves based on the character, based on their choices, and the character is what drives the story to being compelling. So if you have a very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, a character who is not driven to make choices, who is passive. Sorry, that I lost my thought for a minute. Um, if you have a very passive character, you're going to have a very boring story. And so this is definitely not a passive um, character story. These All these characters are very 
they're very much driven and their drive is to be the hero they want to save the world they want to save people and that's really much andy's drive and when we first open the story we know that that's our drive but we also know that she needs to have her um drive fulfilled and right now it's just not and that's another thing that i really like about the film it's very contemporary so um we're in the present day and at the beginning at the top of the film we see andy taking a look at um the news feed where she is in morocco and it's very much reflective of what's going on right now in the world there's all kinds of horrors that are going on and she feels really um, deadened because she feels like all the hard work that she has done has not paid off and so that is right away what we know her drive to be and and when we meet Niall who's a new immortal she has a similar drive where she wants to be the hero so we meet Niall because she's a marine she's near combat in Afghanistan and we definitely get to see that she's a career hero she wants to be a great soldier um the way that she interacts with her superiors she's very much a good soldier and um that's something that will benefit her as she becomes an immortal which is probably part of the reason why she becomes an immortal and um that to me is the heart of this story the story is all about the the compelling need for these women to save humanity to be um the light bearer to be the hero to make it so that we as a people as humanity are um worth our salt so to speak and so not only do we get to meet niall not only do we get to meet Androm andy um but the other team members nick Nikki and Joe and Booker are the other immortals and we soon right away see that they're a family and the thing that I love about the story is that it evolves organically a lot of action movies the story is kind of jammed in your face um, something that comes to mind is like John Wick which I love I'm a big fan of John Wick but it's kind of like um, they killed his puppy and so now he's drawn back into revenge and he wants to kill everybody so like yeah that's a very basic plot line but this story the old guard is very much more complex than that and that's why it's such a great action film because you're not just watching somebody blow up shit you know i'm sorry excuse my language but um if there are kids watching you're not just watching somebody shoot up people you're not just watching um a lot of fights for no reason the drive is very much deeply rooted in humanity and redemption which is always a very good story to tell because we as people we want to feel like we are worth our our salt like i said and we are always looking for stories that um reiterate our self-actualization and that to me is why this is a little bit top tier um, action because the story is not just about fighting it's also about um, the human element it's also about redemption um, and it's also about you know these women saving humanity now let me also get into other reasons why this is a great film and if you like action films um you love the soundtrack and the music choices are just so perfect um from frank ocean in the beginning when niall is having her moment where she's like having this moment where she's reflecting on what just happened where she was literally her throat was slashed and then she came back to life we're listening to godspeed by frank ocean and then the rest of the film follows suit like every time that there's a needle drop there's a reason for the music and i found that emotionally it was very satisfying and it was also very complimentary to the story now i do remember reading stuff like online where there were some reviews that were saying um they didn't really like the musical choices but i feel like the music got it right and so like to each his own so that's just one of the other elements along with the great character development along with the the powerful acting like kiki lane is just so great in this role because um not only does she grow from this um 
this soldier who wants to please her superiors into this hero who steps into her own but she just goes through these emotional roller coasters in such a nuanced way that I just couldn't stop looking at her. I just couldn't stop um, connecting with her experiences, you know? And if you're in the audience and you're watching a film and you have a difficult time connecting to that character, then that says something about the story. It's just not doing what it should be doing. Um, and that being said, I really felt every emotional beat. Um, even with Andy, like she was the main character. She was the leader. However, she showed so much vulnerability in different situations. You know, there were some emotional moments where she was talking about her past, where we were transported, not only visually, but, um, emotionally. And so, um, and you get to see that with all the characters from Booker his character and his emotional arc with reflection on and i'm not going to give it away like there are so many things i could say about the storyline when it comes to booker but even he has an arc so if you are creative and you're creating an action film and your characters don't have nuance or we don't get to see them in various different emotional um, situations, then you need to go back to your, your script because this film has set the bar pretty high because um, we get to see Booker in a moment where he's tender and talking about the love that he has for his son and the hurt and the pain that he suffered because of, you know, being an immortal and having to watch all of the people he care about die um, to the other moments where you're like, where you really love to hate Booker. So without giving away anything, you know, each of the characters has their own um, emotional arc. And, and one of the most standout emotional moments um, that I really love to like go back to, because I've seen this film more than once, <laughs> is the scene where um, Nikki and Joe are captured. And Joe has this moment where he talks about his love for Nikki and it's just so tender. Like it's powerful in the way that the actor portrayed him, but it's also so palpable, the love that has evolved over these generations of time that they've been fighting alongside each other. And like, you have to emulate that like as a creative i felt compelled to find moments in my script where my characters have that much emotional depth so again this broadcast is not just about how great the film is and how cool it is to watch things blow up or what things look like on the screen it's also for creatives to just take note on top tier storytelling visually um emotionally the development of the characters and you know plot is very important to action films as well but i i mean i want to counter to saying that all the other story elements are just as important you know the story is not going to be compelling if it doesn't keep you watching if it doesn't keep you on edge if it doesn't touch you you know um in your heart as well as make you think so as long as your story is going through all of these different layers and has nuance then you know you're on the right track and the old guard definitely does all of that um i could go on and on <laughs> about how um amazing it is um but i'm only going to keep this to like 15 minutes i don't do really long broadcasts but i just want to say that um, if you love action, you're going to love this film because there are so many sequences where <laughs> I had to rewind it and just watch it again. And I did get to see some behind the scenes where um, Gina Prince Bythewood did like a little featurette to show how she shot those action sequences where they were fighting. And, you know, you get to see um, the actors training. And so it all pays off because on the screen it is beautiful. And it is something that will keep you on the edge of your seat if you love fight sequences if you love um shootouts there is a very like pretty cool shootout and um and even the the special effects are very subtle they don't distract from the story everything is just woven together so expertly in my opinion 
Now, if you want to find out for sure <laughs> how great this film is, go and watch it on Netflix. Um, and I do know that they're doing, um, they're creating a sequel. And I just can't wait because it's such a great film. It's a great story. These are powerful actors. I lost track of time watching it. And even though they're globe trotting and they're in all these different settings, not once do you get lost in um, plot or where you are. Everything is just so expertly put together and you're transported into this story world, which is to me um, very key to having great storytelling on film. So with that being said, I'm gonna close out the broadcast and say that I really enjoyed The Old Guard. I watched it, let me just admit, I watched it at least five to 10 times. <laughs> it is so great, it's so good. And I, I just wanna give so much respect to Gina prince Bythewood. She is an amazing director. And if you're smart and you're a creator, you will sit down and you'll watch this film with pen and paper and take plenty of notes. And um, I will close out by saying next week we're going to talk about another action film. And um, I do want to say I don't think it's going to be as great. I mean, you know, this is a very high bar that um, Gina prince Bythewood has set. So it's going to be very difficult for another film to to come even close. So, But if you want to find out which film and why it's great, or not so great. Tune in next week. We um, have a broadcast every Wednesday, 4.30 p.m. Pacific Time, live here at, at Audaz Entertainment on Instagram. And also follow us on Twitter at A-U-D-A-Z-E-N-T. And I will see you next time. This has been really great. Um, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.